Councilman Salters and Councilman Grove here to give you your July, I can't believe it's July, July 8th Council Recap. Not too much on the agenda tonight, but we did get some things done. One thing, yeah, on the agenda for tonight was uh, VU came for their second and third reading of the street closure at Shelby Street, but uh, we did we did only do one reading tonight. Uh, you think of street closures being something pretty simple, but uh, underneath the ground is, of course, utilities. So yeah. there was a kind of kind of a, uh, a wrench thrown in about one of the utilities had left us uh, an objection. So we did take that under advisement, and uh, we will look at that on the next reading. And the nice thing about it is we had the objection on there, but VU had already addressed it, uh, and they're working on that. So this isn't like a huge problem. This will be pretty quick, and this will be taken care of. Uh, the key thing to remember is make sure that you have easement to those utilities so we still have access to them so the services that we've come to know and love we still have access to and bu does a great job about having things prepared and, uh, it was last minute on them as well so you know they'll get it taken care of and we'll get it passed next time yeah next so I, I mean it's just a two-week wait and then that'll get taken care of and yeah. you'll probably start to see stuff getting done with the new French Commons uh, apartment complex. And, yeah, it's exciting. You know, even even with the stuff torn down down there, uh, it's it's cleaned up, and I can't wait to see the new construction down there. there you know, fifteen million dollars is a lot of money to put into new construction in that area. I, I'm I'm excited about. Yeah, it. it's given a new look to that area, and just to think after we've seen kind of the renderings of what's going to happen down there, I mean, it's exciting to see that that's going to happen, and that money's going to be invested in that area. Uh, but to kind of see, I, I'm, I'm ready to see some construction. Yeah. I'm ready to see some stuff happen in those spots. Yeah. So that kind of, hey, here's what was on paper. Now Here just comes to life. Yeah. Now, obviously, a uh, big thing that we'll talk about in Board of Works today, and we're standing right behind it, is the gimbal wall. Build that wall. Build the wall, Build yes. that. I think that's one wall <laughs> that yeah. here all in Vincennes that we can really kind of get behind. Yeah. Uh, this has been something that has been long, long, long going. It's yeah. kind of... Well, you know, we've talked about it before. It's, it's one of the first things you see coming into, into Vincennes over the bridge. And, you know, it's the hangout place for a lot of things. The parade, all, all the activities, the watermelon festival. A lot of things happen down in this area. And it was kind of an eyesore, you know, and it was, it was one of our priorities to get addressed. And mostly done. I mean, it is mostly done. But we ran into a little snafu with the construction uh, with the contractor and, and uh, you know, they've, they've done away with that contract and they're bidding it out now. Yeah, that contract was canceled out, bids were taken today, so you'll probably start to see work to finish out the gimbal wall. And Councilman Grove's right, when you come into town, it was an eyesore. We saw work start on this a year and a half or a year ago. Yeah, I mean, it's year, been a while. Yeah, a year and a half. And we thought it would be done. Yeah, we thought it would be done. Christmas, so. Yeah, we thought it was yeah, going right. to be done and taken care of. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things is you kind of clean this area up a little bit, make this back wall look nice and presentable. Uh, we already start to hold events down here, and that was always something that drove me insane is you had this burnt out, nasty wall behind us. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like bringing the family over and you close the door. Yeah, you, you close know? the door, you like you push you everything can't do in that there. Down here. It's, it's, and it's right for there. future development, that we have numerous different plans of things that happen here in the Gimbal lot. Uh, you want that to look good as we move into that. So uh, to me, this was really, really important to make sure that that gets taken care of and we move forward with that. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing we did today, we uh, honored the Spirit of 76 Award, uh, and that went to? Doug and Karen Halter, and no, no more deserving. I mean, th those two, they spend numerous, countless hours watering flowers, planting flowers. I mean, downtown would not look half as good as it does without Doug and Karen. I mean, they do a lot. Yeah, if you get a chance and you haven't been downtown through the summertime, drive downtown and you see all these hanging pots, all these planted pots. I mean, it's just it's just beautiful downtown. I it mean, it, it, it looks yeah. great. Yeah. And they're the ones that take care of those, make sure they're watered, make sure they're, uh, you know, they're, it's looking great. Uh, another big thing that they do, and I love, the, I mean, uh, it's one of my favorite things at Christmas time, it, is the giant Christmas tree. Yeah. Uh, it's become, you know, kind of a staple here that we've got this, you know, our own little Rockefeller Christmas yeah. right here. Uh, in downtown Vincennes, and they're they're the brains behind that. Uh, they put all the hours into it, and they get it put up, uh, and it's something really special that happens here. So, you know, it was a very well deserving very, honor yes. for them, and I, I know I'm thankful. I know Councilman Grove's thankful that they're so involved in making our community uh, just such a better place. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so that's about it that we had today on the council recap. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks for the end of July. That's crazy, right? It does feel like July, though, you know, finally. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting there. So uh, we hope you had a great fourth. 
Uh, and we look forward to finishing up the rest of the summer. Yep. I mean, it's going to be a great year. Yep. See you in a couple weeks. Have a good one.